Meet Linda Teo, owner of Carey Models International, one of Singapore's most established modeling agency. After 36 years in the business, Linda is on a quest to change the modeling arena in Singapore with the launch of a new division of Carey Models that will cater to women aged over 35. Join us on her journey as she grooms and sets out challenges for the women who will embody what it means to be the face of Carey Elegance. In the last episode, the women's challenge was set on board a luxury yacht where they had to portray one of the seven deadly sins in their fashion photo shoot. The women are unaware that they're given points for their challenges each week and that these points will ultimately contribute 20% to a final tally where the face and ambassador of Carrie Elegance will be picked and will win prizes worth over $100,000. Based on the photo challenge, Sarah's photo wowed the judges and she's now atop the leader board with seven points, followed by Kim with five points, Yumi with four, Raslin with three, Harjana and Lyra with two, and Jill with one. As the finale approaches, the women meet at local designer Ray Lee's store for their gown fitting. So this is the boutique. <laughs> hey Ray! Hey! How are you? Thank you so much no for problem. helping me sponsoring uh, my We're all friends. It's and great. I heard that you're going to sponsor a gown for my winner. Yes. Wow, and the gown's so beautiful. I'm so happy that Ray is willing to come on board to beautify all these models for our final challenge, including me. Look at me. Look at the gowns. When Linda approached me and told me about the concept of Carrie Elegance, I was very fascinated because to think that ladies who pass their so-called prime and still look good, which in modern technology and medicine, they can do look good, I feel that it's, it's a great way. And the very good thing is that when I met all the ladies, they exude an air of elegance and sophistication where sometimes the young models do not possess. Today is the day the women have been waiting for, the day when the face and ambassador of Carrie Elegance will be named as they gather at Mad Restaurant for the finale, emceed by celebrity stylist and host Marcus AC. Welcome to Mad. I am your host, Marcus AC. Please welcome on stage our seven finalists. And there you have it, these seven finalists, all of them vying and could possibly be crowned the face of Carrie Elegance. Before we go any further, no crowning of the face will be complete without a judging panel. So let me introduce to you our judges for today. First and foremost, a very good friend of Linda herself, who's been there from the very beginning, 36 years ago, to help launch Carry Models, Mr. Dick Lee himself. <laughs> Next, we have, this is the man who has been known to be responsible for the girl's stunning transformation with his non-invasive laser treatment, Dr. Go. And of course, last but not least, the managing director of Carry International and now Carry Elegance, Miss Linda Teo. <laughs> the girls are basically today scored on these categories: catwalk and presentation, personality, collective best picture, and during each week that you will see on the show itself, the girls go through various challenges. At the end of each episode, the girl who performed best in terms of the challenge or a photography 
task itself was also awarded points. And at the end of today, those scores will be added up with today's scores. So right now, any one of you could be the winner. The winner and the face of Carry Elegance will stand to win the following. A one-year skin treatment from PPP Clinic worth $50,000. An exclusive, exquisite Larry jewellery prize worth $10,000. A special hamper and private makeup session by the good people of Bobby Brown. A custom-made designer gown by, by our very own local designer, Mr. Ray Lee. And a handmade leather bag by Coco Toscano to be named after the winner herself, worth $15,000. So a grand prize of almost $100,000 is in store for the winner. So, you guys didn't know this, but the girl's score is according to this. Sarah with seven points. Next, we have Kim with five points. Yumi with four points. Our very own sexy Razlin has three points with Hajana and Lyra with two points and Jill with one point. But then again, all these points really doesn't matter if they don't perform well today. The final scores of the judges today will be added to contribute to 80% of the total score and 20% would come from the points accumulated throughout the weeks through their various challenges. Coming up, the final challenge for the women before the winner and face of Carrie Elegance is revealed. She's one of the reasons why I decided then and there that, yes, um, I'm going to take part in this show. Why not? Yes, I definitely am up for the challenge. It doesn't matter who wins today. The point is, it's a step forward so that, you know, 35 is really not that old. The women are all set for their final round of judging. With Sarah at the lead, the women will today be judged based on catwalk, personality, collective best picture taken, and a special Q&A segment. Without further ado, let's welcome our very first contestant that we'll be talking to, Miss Lyra. My journey has been very exciting. It's been um, tiring, but it's been one of the most rewarding things that I've done for my life, in my life. Um, it's been, um, I've won from the very beginning. Um, you know, someone once asked me, uh, what will you win? Um, and I said, I've won already. I've won six friends. You were once one of the more successful models in Singapore back in the days. Okay. Well, if you don't know, you can always Google her and I can find out who she is. Okay. But unfortunately, you also went through something very personal that you had a surgery. Would you mind sharing a bit about that? Um, I can't really remember how long ago, like uh, 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with a uh, brain tumor and I was a benign one. So uh, I went through some surgery. And uh, the outcome is that I lost some of my 70% uh, of my right facial muscle, you know. So um, it's strange that when my friend want me to take part in this contest, and I say no way, they're not gonna take me in, you know. So uh, they sent my pictures to Linda, and Linda say, "Come down, take a look at you," you know. So I went down. And she said, "Do you care what people think about you?" I said, "I don't," because all my friends know about it. And she said, "Just do it." And so, um, thank you. If anyone had said to me um, that I could be a model before the show, I would have laughed. Um, I feel like I'm not tall enough, I'm not good looking enough, and I'm certainly not young enough. But then Linda told me about this program that she wanted to start, and it was targeted at older women, women in their mid-30s to 40s, and that you didn't need to have modeling experience. So. One of the things that, you know, really stuck to me was how comfortable I was talking and listening to Linda. She's not the, 
exactly the type of person you'd expect who's running a top modeling agency. She's very down to earth. She's very inspiring in her passion. She's one of the reasons why I decided then and there that, yes, um, I'm going to take part in this show. Why not? Since you are just two points behind Sarah, do you think you can beat her in this competition? Coming to, um, coming to this competition, for me, um, is not really, really beating someone. Um, I know that um, winning this competition is not easy. However, uh, for myself, I think that I, uh, to winning myself is even more difficult. So as I, today, stand here in front of all of you, and maybe in front of thousands of viewers uh, watching me over later, I'm proud to say that I've won myself. This journey for me, the, at the beginning, I felt trapped. Like, because I had never, I don't, I didn't have any professional tra modeling training. And in other girls, like, the beautiful and, you know, catwalk practice, like, I just cannot do it. But the gradually, I'm just getting there and building confidence. And uh, I'm still the same. I'm timid and shy, but I can stand here. I'm definitely just a you know, difference after the you know, six weeks journey. Linda's advice to Rosalind was to lose some weight. I think what came out of this after telling me to lose weight is the fact that I watched my diet and I'm really glad that I actually came through and managed to lose weight. You think I lose weight now? You better say yes. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about your journey so far. You know, again, with six other girls competing with yourself for the title, how much of it was a competition for you. It's not that any one of us came in here thinking that we're going to win. It's more like the seven of us came in here going, hey, we've got new friends, we've got fun, we can do all this fun stuff. And while we're at it, I can now actually walk without falling down. So that's actually something that I took from the entire thing. It doesn't matter who wins today. The point is, it's a step forward so that, you know, 35 is really not that old. Even in modeling years, really, look at all the top models in the world. I mean, most of them are quite old. With kids too. That one I'm not fair about because I don't have kids yet. You only have one point in this entire thingy, okay? That aside, do you think you got what it takes to win and be the face of career elegance? Honestly, when I heard at one point, I mean, it sounded about right because, you know, I was really trying to get through my fears and, and overcome, you know, my, my low self-confidence. But I have to say that, yes, I definitely am up for the challenge because as a person, um, everyone is always growing to be better, to do newer things and to be very good at what they do. So I would like to take that journey with Carrie Elegance and actually be, go through like really great training. Um, especially with Linda, who's so encouraging, and to actually learn the ins and outs of what it takes to be a real model, because everyone thinks catwalk is so easy. It looks like the simplest thing in the world. It was the most difficult thing to actually do, um, to walk elegantly, to look like a model, at the same time, make sure that you show off the clothes and the jewelry. So I have to say that I would take that as a challenge, an opportunity to become a better person and to actually explore the area of modeling. Thank you very much, Jill. So there you have it, the seven girls who are vying for the title of the face of Carrie Elegance. Coming up next. Now, 
if you are ready, we are going to bring the girls back on stage for one final look before we announce the results. I have the result in my hand. But before I get to that, I think I need to speak to our judges and to find out actually what happened back there. What happened was that uh, we were just called back to confirm the score. Because you know, when you, when you vote, um, everything is by points. And uh, sometimes uh, the points can be upset quite greatly. I mean, let's say I put 10 for someone and Linda puts 1, you know, for the same person in the same category. So, there could be an upset. So, I think um, the organisers just wanted to confirm that this was the result that, that we wanted. Wow. Good answer. Thank you, sir. So, could I actually invite Miss Linda Teo up on stage to announce the winner? The winner, and the winner is I cannot believe <laughs> that I won. This is like, you know, I was just thinking. After the show, I will just go and eat and eat as much as I want. But I guess I can't do that now. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy. I'm so shocked. I'm really very shocked. And um, but everyone is so happy for me, all the girls. So it makes me feel like you know I'm very happy. Here is the winner and face of Carrie Elegance, Jill. Were you surprised? I wasn't surprised. I actually was. I was because I had my personal favourite. So you were surprised that Jill won? I was surprised that Jill won, but then after that, you know, after results were announced, I realised that she is the most deserving. Congratulations, Jill, my fellow eating partner. Now that you're a top model, are you going to be like not eating with me anymore? <laughs> I hope not. What a surprise, actually. Totally surprised. I thought Sarah and uh, or maybe Kim going to win this whole thing. And uh, I'm just really, really happy for her, really. Well, I'm shocked because um, I didn't expect Jill to, to come in first, you know? And uh, because I thought she was inexperienced, she was uh, new, I was just shocked. And I think it's fair, you know, the marks added and she scored the highest. And she deserves to win. So I believe that Jill has wonderful personality and being an ambassador for Carrie Elegance, it, might, it will go very far. Well, I would say that uh, it was a surprise and yet I was hoping that, that she would win. Um, I'm not sure exactly what uh, Linda or the agency is looking for in terms of someone to represent the division and in what way the model would represent that division. But as a spokesperson, I think that Jill is perfect. Uh, and I feel that uh, she speaks so well for women of her generation and her age. I really was uh, rooting for her to win and I, I, I think she won also because I must have given her high points. So I'm very pleased with the result. I think uh, the winner to me is quite a natural and easy choice because the uh, contest is about reinvention, it is about the second look, it is about maturity and uh, to pick the prettiest girl, the best model for appearance, I think is a piece of cake. I mean, if you talk about the transformation from a not so uh, pretty uh, lady and you now to become uh, so much prettier and from a personality that is so much low self-esteem to a lady who become very confident, I think the picking a winner in this contest is so easy. And it is natural that um, Jill will be the one because she really has made 
a major reinvention, a transformation of what a full uh, mature woman should be. The event was wonderful and it's really, really beautiful. I love the place that Dick has sponsored. And honestly, I believe the most changed contestant in this series is definitely Jill and I wish her all the best. I think Jill is definitely someone who was one of my top three picks from the start when I first met her. So good, I hope she enjoys the bag, put a lot of effort into it. I'm quite surprised with the result and I want to congratulate Jill. And for the rest of the ladies, um, I just want to say, I know we don't win, but I think it's the, the journey, the friendship, and it's a one of a lifetime experience. So uh, enjoy it, and um, y'all look very gorgeous. Having Jill win this competition and being the face of Career Elegance, I think it's a great boost to any girl who is an underdog. So I think all the best to Jill. We can't wait to see great things come from her. And of course, being the face of Career Elegance is going to be the next big thing for her. With the face of Carrie Elegance found, it's the start of another new journey for the women and Linda as they embark as models reinvented. Thank <laughs> you.